So today we are going to talk about VTS or visual thinking strategies, what that is and how it um, enhances our visual literacy. So we're going to use a random uh, ooh, <laughs> picture today. Um, this is my friend's uh, picture. So the first question of VTS is what's going on in this image? So depending on um, who you are, you're going to see different things depending on like what your background is, right? So uh, someone might say, um, so I notice there are some people and they're looking at the stars. Next question is, what do you see that makes you say that? So it sounds like a silly thing to ask, like, well, isn't it obvious? Um, but maybe it's not obvious and maybe some people see things that other people don't so all right So what do you see that makes you say that? Um, okay, so I see what look like five People because they have like heads and legs and this person has a face um, And I think they're looking at the stars because they're faced that way um, and Up here look like there are stars What more can you find? So what more can you find is this continual question. Uh, so I'm noticing it looks like they're in the woods. What do you see that makes you say that? I see these, these background details. That makes me think that those are trees and that they might be in the woods. Um, so the cool thing about visual thinking strategies is it sounds obvious, but um, you can get pretty deep into a piece of artwork. Well, another example I wanted to do was of um, Alma Gul Menlabayeva's artwork, which I'll put here. So, um, so I had this uh, photo in my classroom and a really good example of how visual thinking strategies works is I asked my students, what did they notice in um, this picture what's going on in this picture what do you see and in almost every class most of the kids said that they said that they um, the lady was holding a dog um, and so instead of just saying it's not a dog um, I was like what do you see that makes you say it's a dog um, and so more students thought like oh okay it's it's furry she's holding it it's like her pet um, she's taking care of it uh, and so and then I was like what more can you find and some students thought maybe that the horns were like a hat or uh, some sort of like Halloween costume since it was close to Halloween uh, and, and students eventually came up with the idea that she's holding like a, a different animal not a dog but maybe a sheep and then I could kind of add to that later after that discussion that uh, Alma Gul Menlabayeva is a Kazakhstani artist who she uh, talks a lot about the land and preserving the land and how traditional, many traditional Kazakhstan uh, um, people would have herd animals and so they'd have to care for them. Um, and so it's more symbolic than that. Um, but when you first look at an image and they didn't have all that background knowledge, um, you might not understand what you're seeing at first. So visual thinking strategies helps students uh, understand um, artwork a little bit more. Um, another example is uh, um, this photo. Um, uh, by, I, I think I might pronounce it wrong, but I think it's Miguel uh, Coro Rubio. Uh, and same thing, I asked what's going on in this image? What do we notice? And the students, um, you know, obviously say like, I see uh, these, wim these women in a boat, they're canoeing. But some students said kayaking, which is much more common in my area. Uh, they also um, 
it was fun. This one was pretty fun because some students um, made up narratives, right? Like maybe they're, uh, some said that it was flooded a lot. Notice the town behind them. Maybe they were escaping. Maybe they were um, uh, boating to somewhere. So um, as students start to make a narrative out of the image, um, you know, as I was saying, like, what more can you find? What do you see that makes you say that? Uh, students kind of added to the narrative of the woman, the women um, canoeing. And it was interesting because I've been to this island before in Pátzcuaro, uh, Mexico by Michoacán. And it was one of the last holdouts of indigenous uh, culture in Mexico. Um, and the, um, so the conquistadors were coming at every angle and they, around the island, the native Pátzcuaran people would uh, have signal fires on the different mountains and they would tell tell their friends, their families, where the soldiers were and they had underground tunnels and they would go around, around and around the mountains to the island and they were never conquered, um, which sadly they were uh, later converted to Christianity um, later in a, um, which is um, another part of colonialism. Uh, but so I had all this other background knowledge and it was hard not to be like, and this and this and this. But if you're just looking at a picture and an image, um, that's a lot to take in at first. And you won't, um, sometimes you just have to start with like, what do you see? What makes you say that? What more can you find? Cool. All right, visual thinking strategies, give it a try. Try asking yourself when you're looking at a painting um, or a sculpture at a museum, um, what am I seeing in this image? And then what more can I find? And what, what do I see that makes me say that? Because sometimes our first impression of a painting or an image isn't all there is. Sometimes there's a lot more to see. So I hope this was useful. Uh, have an awesome day. Bye.